Hello, I am Vida Pratia Sitikun. I am a PhD student at Faculty of Medical Technology, Mahidol University, Thailand. I'm going to introduce you to the article entitled "It Hydroxyquinoline: A Review of Its Metal Chelating Properties and Medicinal Applications." It is widely known that metal ions play important roles in biological processes. And metal homeostasis is required for maintenance of metal levels. Loss of metal homeostasis, including metal overload or metal deficiency, is believed to be one of the leading causes of many neurodegenerative diseases as well as other metal-related diseases. Therefore, restoring metal homeostasis. Is considered to be one of treatment strategies of such diseases. Ethydroxyquinoline is a quinoline derivative possessing metal binding ability. It is widely used as metal chelator owing to its good metal recognition property. Moreover, a small, planar, highly lipophilic structure of these compounds facilitates cell entry. Which allows them to reach the target sites in the cells. Interestingly, metalculating property of ethydroxyquinolines and its derivatives gives rise to a wide range of bioactivities. Regarding this, ethydroxyquinolines and its derivatives are attractive compound series, which could be further developed for many therapeutic applications. In this article, there was bioactivity of a hydroxyquinoline and its derivatives are discussed together with the mechanism of actions as well as structure activity relationships. In this video, I would like to give you an example how we can use a hydroxyquinoline to treat Alzheimer's disease. Relatively high levels of particular redox reactive metal ions. Are found in the brain of Alzheimer patients, leading to loss of metal homeostasis in the brain. The excessive metal ions can induce the production and accumulations of abnormal proteins in particular brain areas. The abnormal proteins and metal ions are accumulated together within the neurons as plaque. Consequently. Free radicals produced by metal ions can cause neuronal damage, leading to neuronal cell death. As a highly lipophilic, potent metal chelator, it hydroxyquinolines can pass through the brain barrier into the brain, where it can chelate the excessive metal ions, thereby prevent the production and accumulations of abnormal proteins. As well as protect the neurons from oxidative damage. However, metal ions are essential for many neurological functions. The accumulations of metal ions in particular brain areas leads to the depletions in other areas. Since the binding between ethydroxyquinolines and metal ions are reversible, so it can bind and release. Dynamically, like these, ethydroxyquinolines can also act as metal chaperones, in which it can chelate the metal ions from higher concentration brain areas, then deliver and release them in the area where they are depleted. Regarding these, ethydroxyquinolines not only prevent neuronal damages. But also can restore metal homeostasis in the brain as well. Other interesting bioactivities are discussed here in these articles. It is very fascinating that only a small molecules with chelating ability can be applied for a wide range of medicinal applications. Finally, thank you for watching this video, and hope you enjoy reading this article. Thanks again.